Hello, so here's the GS800L uh, dash cam. Um, I'm removing the uh, factory uh, certificate sticker or, um, you know, the factory seal. And, uh, you know, that basically at this point voids the warranty. Um, I issued a return, but the vendor didn't want it back. They just gave me a refund for it because the quality of the image sucked. And I just, I showed you previously how badly the video quality was. Something was really wrong with the way that the camera was uh, either recording or transferring image data. I mean, I don't know what was wrong with it. And without opening the camera, there was no way I could really fix it. Um, and therefore, as soon as I did open the camera, if I like this, uh, I would void the warranty. So I really have no choice but to complain to the seller, explain that something's definitely wrong with the camera get my money back and give them a return and that's it and then you know once we settled that and uh you know if i needed to fix it i wouldn't have any worries about opening up the camera because at that point you know wasn't um it was refunded already so here i uh took out the top three screws as you can see the back plate uh, the little window just pops up and that is the lcd display it's currently on and you can see the problem is still there. Notice how the image has these really weird purple and blue and uh, yellow kind of colors in it. And that's not the camera. That's actually like what I'm filming with. It's actually the the display um, from the camera. It's it's recorded that way. I'm zooming in on the chip. Now uh, this was supposed to be a Nova Novatech uh, branded Ouko uh, GS800L, and I see really nothing of any kind of branding on the chip. There's a couple of numbers and that's it. There's really nothing else. Looks like most of the other standard layouts. Um, I think that just the chips may be a little bit different position than what I've seen on the internet. Okay, now the power turned off so the LCD backlight is uh, not no longer glowing. I've just zoomed in, um, just getting a little bit more light on this uh, thing. So I just swung the LCD panel back. So I know for sure it's not the LCD panel causing the aberrations. So I've already recorded footage and it records it to the actual file with that weird artifact. In addition to that, the startup screen you just saw with the car it looks fine. But as soon as it looks through the camera at things, you see those strange things happen where the dark areas of the image uh, get painted kind of a yellow purpley glow. So I'm trying now to get the board out uh, from the other side. There are four screws holding the board, the, P the main PCB board, to the other side of the case. These screws happen to be a tiny little bit different than the screws that actually hold the back of the, the window on. So don't get them mixed up because the thread pitch and the, the, the way that they're shaped is just slightly different. At least that's what I thought they don't look like um, they're the same. So I'm trying to just gather them up together there as you can see. And on the other side I'm opening up the screws. Now it's probably not a good idea to do this with the thing on uh, because who knows you might short something out and that's enough to cause perhaps uh, some more damage or who knows what. But I'm not too worried here. It's pretty low voltage stuff. I don't think there's anything uh, that could happen. Uh, but really, try not to use a metal, in, you know, especially a metal screwdriver in such proximity to the PCB, just in case there's a short and there's some sensitive circuitry there, and it just can't handle the voltage. Um, you know, you might actually damage some other component. Okay, so there I'm trying to pick out the last screw. Uh, it fell inside the case. Okay, there they are. And next, I'm going to open it up. Now, I have to get underneath it. There, pry it out carefully. And as you can see, there's some things holding it to the other side. There's going to be a flat flex cable uh, connecting the PCB to the camera module, which is what you see there in white and there's also a couple of wires uh, black and red 
two sets. That's what the two wires are for. One is to the microphone, and uh, the other one is to uh, the battery pack. And then, so there it is. You can see the flat flex at the bottom, that white uh, flat cable. And what I'm trying to do is just figure out a way how to pry it open a little more because I want to see everything. Um, I want to try to get that camera module out. Now, it turns out the camera module is also screwed to the front plastic. So I'm going to have to unscrew it from the uh, outer plastic shell. So once again, I get the screwdriver out. Um, at this point, I'm trying to peel the battery off. It's uh, stuck on with some adhesive to the back of the battery, uh, the, the um, camera module. And we don't want to damage anything. So it's just trying to find a way to hold this thing in a way that won't put any tension or pressure on any of the components there. And so usually the first time around it's hard to figure out, but once you've done it once and hopefully by viewing this video you'll be able to learn from from what I'm doing and it'll be easy to get in there and uh, you know if you have any issues or want to play around with your own camera you can easily do it. I'm unscrewing the camera module at this point and these are also a different set of screws they happen to be silver instead of um, of black just two screws holding it together right around the middle part of the the board so the camera module sensor is connected to the main PCB through that white ribbon cable and I'm just inspecting it there and my first suspicion is really there's something you know I'm sure the board works fine because it's recording images the menus work everything that it shows is is normal the LCD display functions fine because the colors of, of on the startup screen look good. So I'm pretty sure there's nothing wrong with the main board and the PCB. So the only thing I can really eliminate it down to is that little camera module you see there, the black uh, lens thing. Maybe something going on with it, or the connector is probably just something not seated properly or loose to the main PCB, like I found them. So here's the output of the camera, still nothing changed. You can see that there are these re really strange dark yellow and, and purple artifacts. You see right there, see it looks like kind of rainbowy colors on the screen. And uh, it's just adding a lot of weird artifacts. And uh, you know, even when I turn it to view, it's still showing up, see? that's my head you can see that there's all these uh, unusual uh, grainy sort of purplish hues around the edges of the image and that's not normal so I managed to change the ribbon I just wanted to show you I, I cut because I couldn't film it while I did it but that was the problem I actually uh, took out that little ribbon connected it back and voila no more you see the image looks clear uh, without any color artifacts none of those strange yellow and purple um, things showing so that's basically uh, what the problem was with this camera somehow or other it left the factory with that ribbon cable uh, just not working properly um, not completely seated in, or maybe uh, it was, um, you know, kind of side a little bit shifted over and, and maybe shorting a couple pins out. Uh, but it turned out it wasn't the firmware. That was my suspicion. It wasn't the camera, the CMOS module itself. The Most of the camera itself was good. See that ribbon right there? That needed to be unclipped and basically clipped back in uh, firmly and that solved the problem so um, if you encounter this kind of issue uh, I don't know if it's a common thing but this particular camera came shipped with it 
and uh, you know I got my money back and then I took a chance and it turned out it worked after all uh, but if you get this and you don't know what it is it could be anything else it unfixable you really can't trust that it's the cable so I still get a refund and try to return the item so that's basically it thank you very much and hope you enjoy this video